What's up guys, Jerome here from the Bonsai Supply and today we're going to work on this ball cypress. This time of the year in Florida it is a really good time to work on ball cypresses because uh, cypresses are deciduous trees and in the middle of the summer in Florida is where they go into a dormant period so it is a really good time now to go in, remove all the leaves, set the structure of the tree or wire the tree and then uh, you know start training the tree from there. So this is what we're going to do here today. So this tree actually belongs to a customer. So we're going to clean up the deadwood. We're going to remove all the foliage and we're going to give this tree its very first styling. So, this, so we're not quite sure which uh, way we're going to go today, but I do know that I have to go ahead and defoliate the tree first and preserve the deadwood. And of course for that job, I'm going to call in my trusty assistant, Mari. And here she is. Let's do it. Let's do it. While she's still defoliating, I'm going to start working on the tree. So now looking at the tree, I can clearly tell that today we're going to style this into a flat top style. Uh, we're going to use this branch as well as this branch over here and maybe this branch here as well. Other than that, the tree is pretty uh, sparse and we have a lot of branches. So we would have to, you know, cut it back right now and wait another couple of growing seasons to get more branches. But I think this is a great candidate for a, a flat top. Now this is a ball cypress and not a pond cypress. Here's what the leaf different uh, looks like. So I'm going to start uh, removing all the branches that we don't need and she's going to continue with the foliage. So I'm removing all of these little uh, weaker branches and I'm leaving just the main branches. Today on the very first styling of this tree it's not time to uh, you know neatly wire everything out and make it look very ramified. Today is the very first time this tree gets worked so it's time to just leave the main branches and set the uh, bone structure and then work off of that. So I'm going to remove all of these little twigs that we don't need today to to build this first wiring. You see on this here? You see this right here is a very good example on how to build ramification. So you always want to take out the middle branch when you have a fork like that. And then we can wire, we can wire these two branches into position. But you always want to take out the third one. The same as here. See this one, two, and three? So you want to take out the middle one always. So we can wire these two together. For another one over here.
really good start for this tree. Um, today I just laid down the bone structure, but I think it looks very natural already. And I'm very pleased the way that it came out. Uh, when I was talking about it, it's a good time to work on your trees. Uh, I'm talking about in Florida here, because you up north, you don't have the two growing seasons. So for you, you have to approach your trees a little different than I have to down here. Now, even though it is a good time in a dormant season to work on your trees, I would not repot the tree at this time of the year. So that's why we're leaving it in this tub, but we just went ahead and styled it. Now, the next step is to uh, preserve some of the dead wood. There's a little dead wood on some of the uh, roots that we're gonna um, carve out and uh, preserve now. I'm gonna preserve those with uh, lime sulfur. So all we're gonna do is remove the soft spot and get back down to the hard wood and then apply the lime sulfur. And then this will be it for today. So this is just a little uh, scraper tool and you can tell where, this, where the wood here is pretty soft. So I just go ahead and um, remove everything that's soft. And I also use a, a wire brush, which can also come in handy to get out all of the soft spot. You could also use a, a Dremel or a, a die grinder, but I prefer to do this part uh, manually by hand. And then once I remove all of the uh, soft spots, I'm gonna use a, a torch to then torch the dead wood, which uh, hardens the dead wood a lot and also helps preserving it. Torch the dead wood, you want to make sure that you don't hit the uh, life vein. So, I um, there's a little function on this where you can make the uh, flame very narrow or wider. So, I make it go very narrow and then I, I go a little further back so I can get really nicely into those uh, nooks and crannies. And then I just take a uh, steel, steel wire brush and then I can just brush it out like that. And now, this is rock hard again, so this is perfect to then preserve. Smell like sunscreen. Yeah. That's it. First step we did is we removed all of the uh, soft parts from the dead wood. And then we torch it with a torch to harden the wood, which also helps to preserve it. And then uh, we mist the wood again with uh, water to open up the pores, so that when we apply the lime sulfur, that the uh, lime sulfur can penetrate very deep and preserve the wood. Now this is what we use, this chin seal. Uh, we use it here at the store. You can find it on our website as well. And we like to use it uh, straight out of the bottle. You can also dilute it with water if you don't want the dead wood to be that white or you can even use uh, like ink to make it a little darker but I like to use it uh, straight out of the bottle. And then I just paint it onto the dead wood. And then now this will turn like a, a little yellowish at first and then once the uh, sun hits it, it'll turn then that bright white. And if you don't have the uh, whiteness that you want, you can also apply it again you know, in a week or two from now. Uh, until you get your desired uh, whiteness. Now we pre we um, apply lime sulfur here in Florida, um, depending on the species, but on something like that, I would say twice a year. All right, so this I just applied literally like a minute ago, and it's already turning to it's already starting to turn white. As the sun will shine on this for the rest of the day, it's going to turn a, a bleach white. But then even if it's too white, over time it will soften the white look again. So then you can apply it again if you want it to be that uh, bright and shiny white. Alright, so now the next step, if this tree was super ramified, I would move it into the shade until it would start to grow back. 
but since there's only very thick branches and there's not a lot of thin branches, I can leave it out in the sun. And in about two weeks time, the tree will grow back and it will bring me back a lot more branches. But now the next step is to thicken up the right branches. So like the bottom branches need to be thickened up. And the bottom branches, um, some are thicker on the top and some are thinner at the bottom. So that needs to be evened out so that the branches are thickest at the bottom and then it becomes thinner towards the top. But well, that's uh, very easy to do. And now I would just like, I would just focus on bringing in more branches and make the tree look more ramified. But so far I'm very happy with its very first styling. And I think this tree has a very bright future ahead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys would like what I did here and I'll catch you guys next time.